Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of Total War Arena. So we are back with the archers onto the tier 6, I think these are the Lesbos archers, yes. Um, so I must confess I have been quite enjoying playing these um, uh, over the past couple of days. I started obviously the last video we did on the tier 5 archers, um, I ground through them and got onto the tier 6s. And they are quite strong I must admit, in the current um, game setup archers seem to be pretty powerful. And um, I'm able to, I think the main power is the fact that I'm able to have pretty consistently good games with them. Um, it's because of the range and the amount of damage they do, particularly if you can target the rear of enemy units, um, makes them pretty effective uh, units, I'm finding. Um, I've got them a little bit upgraded, I've got some of the uh, tunics done, and in the end I decided to buy this bow. Um, ultimately, I'll be going for this refined classical bow because I'd rather have the range than the extra few points of uh, missile damage. But since the um, Exquisite Classical Bow is a requirement for the Tier 7 uh, Tech Tree anyway, I thought well, I, might as, I might as well get that because it's going to make that grind that little bit easier, the increased damage, and particularly the Penetration Damage modifier, because plus 4 when you only have um, a base of 12 is quite significant and uh, well worth having. Obviously, I'm just running them with the Archimedes Counter Consumable, mostly for the Missile Weapon range. Obviously, you could, I could have had the Heroes of the Athens Castle, which gives an increase to damage, which was tempting. Um, but in the end, I think I'd rather have the range. The range to me is the most important thing, particularly if you can outrange enemy archers, gives you really kind of a significant advantage. Um, other than that, they play out pretty similar as to before. We do get some slight changes, things like strain, um, which gives an increase to missile weapon range, which is obviously good. It can be useful, particularly if you can get into long grass and stuff hiding, to take out enemy archers at distance and slingers and things if you can get close enough to them. Um, obviously, dash exactly the same, and focus fire, which is the same as the previous tier. Um, so yeah, other than that. Um, they're just pretty good and they seem to be working out pretty well in the current meta. I know if you go onto the Reddit and stuff like that, a lot of people are pretty unhappy with the way archers are playing out at the moment. And I can kind of understand that. Um, they are they are fairly fairly strong. Although, having said that, I'm quite enjoying playing them. Um, so, we're just going to hop into a replay now. Um, I'm really short on time today, so we're just going to have a look at a bit of a replay I had. Um, it panned out quite nicely. I think we've got over just over 5k aggression. So, um, I shall see you all in the battle. So, you join me on the Battle of Salernum with our Lesbos archers. Um, so, yes, obviously I started off towards the back in the city on this map. Um, we had quite a few archers on our team, as you can see. You know, three units here, three units here, um, and two with the spearmen over there as well. And that's pretty true for the enemy team. Certainly been quite a lot of ranged kicking about um, in games at the moment, which is obviously another part of the reason why archers are becoming pretty unpopular. Um, so I, I probably reckon that sooner or later there's going to be something, a bit of a nerf probably to archers or to ranged units in general maybe because I noticed there's been a massive increase in popularity in slingers as well. Um, it's fine when you're playing them, but not so fun when you're on the receiving end of them sometimes. But anyway, um, I'm playing archers this time, so I push forwards and just try to basically move along with these infantry. Really you need to stay with infantry for support. If you get caught on your own, and particularly if there's cavalry kicking around, they'll just be on you and kill you very quickly because you have no melee combat ability. So you have to be trying to stay safe. So moving into this spot, um, I quite like this little area here because it allows you to sort of fire up and over. Um, and these units have to such great range, and it's not even at full range yet because I've still got the uh, extra weapon upgrade to get. But we start to do an enormous amount of damage to these Romans. Uh, before they get into Testudo, you know, we do 7,000 damage. Pretty good. And before this other group of tier 5 uh, archers move into our range. So we change our fire and start to focus down on them. A few things to note that I noticed is when I started firing, um, engaged them, I immediately went in with Barrage. I was trying to take them down quickly, but I noticed that they had to come quite significantly within my range circle before they could fire, so that suggests to me that I probably outranged them. Um, so I begin to pull back, trying to keep them at range, like this basically, um, while still able to get shots on them, whereas they can't get shots on me. It really seems to work pretty well, obviously we're, we're, we've done quite a bit of damage to them and they haven't damaged us at all yet. Then um, I'm basically trying to move to avoid the fire, I walked right into that focus fire. But the rest, um, I'm just continually moving, shooting, moving, shooting, trying my best to sort of avoid their archer fire while getting shots in on them because they're not moving at all. Um, and by and large that works quite well, I give up at this point because I think I've done enough damage to them that I just focus them down, uh, which we do and we kill them. And you know our units are all about 80% left, so we only got 20% damage to our units and we basically wiped out their entire uh, archers. Accidentally left one man left alive. Um, so next, I'm thinking, what else is the next focus? I decided to go for these um, Roman tier six Roman javelins. Um, can be quite threatening at times, and with their shield armor, if they're frontally facing, can resist archers fairly well. But you know, we clip him in the side. Basically, halves unit health with one one sort of barrage. 
Um, obviously, he's just trying to get out of danger now. But we took off a lot of his health. Because these, these javelins can do an awful lot of damage to you as archers. If they start to get a volley into you, they'll equally take off, you know, two-thirds of your health. Um, but unfortunately, my allies facing off against these tier 6 uh, legionaries are failing. Particularly with these legions, obviously, have got vengeance activated. So, you know, these poor Hastati are never going to be able to hold up very well. So it's getting a few shots off as we pull back. But ultimately, you know, I need to be getting out of here. So, pulling out of here, I decide I'm going to pull out of town. Particularly with these guys moving down here, I do want to get sandwiched. And I didn't know if there's anything over this way either. I'm just trying to keep my options open, moving out of the town. Um, but as we come out, we see these nice... Um, side shots on these uh, Prinkapes, which are engaging these Astarte over here. Obviously, again, I think I checked these Prinkapes have got a Vengeance activated, so they've got a significant advantage. So I know I'm causing a small amount of friendly fire damage, but I felt these Prinkapes were going to pretty well slaughter these Astarte if I didn't help. So it was well worth the time uh, firing a few shots into the side of them, and that little bit of friendly fire damage that we caused is sort of negated by the 10,000 or so odd damage that we were able to cause to the enemy. So, uh, pulling out, still focusing on these guys. I noticed we get some enemy Gunganeer Chargers, Tier 6 Cavalry. Quite a threat to us, particularly considering we're pretty exposed in the open at the moment. I've got no infantry support near me. Um, we get quite a bit of damage on these Gunganeer Chargers. Obviously, we're racking up quite a lot of aggression already. Um, but they obviously come for me. Knowing that, I decide to split. Trying to spread my forces out so they can't focus me all at once. Rather unfortunately, I ran into these uh, Tier 5 Archers here, which kind of drew my attention. Um, so I was trying to get the horses to focus down on one unit of archers um, while, you know, the others keep firing. So one tip I find that often works is if you've got an archer unit, say, here, engaged in combat, um, and then you won't be able to tell him to attack these guys because all you'll get is a melee attack icon. But if you aim at a unit further away, say, like these legionaries over here, these archers will normally start trying to fire at these legionaries in the distance but will end up hitting the cavalry that are in front of you. So um, you'll be a lot better doing damage with your bows, continuing to shoot with your bow and arrows, than you will if you try and pull out swords and stab the cavalry, because you only do like 10 damage per hit, and you'll very rarely land hit. So if you get the opportunity to, always try and shoot at a different target, um, which is away from what you're being engaged by, and you'll still be able to shoot at the cavalry. Well, that, that's the general idea anyway. Um, so following that cavalry fight, we obviously survived, took a bit of damage, but we basically wiped those cavalry out using some of those tactics. Um, but we get split by these uh, tier 4 barbarians. So I pull these two units off and we run back into the town to safety. But my one unit, particularly my commander unit, kind of gets caught in the long grass. Obviously um, isn't visible at the moment because I'm able to get shots off um, without being shot back. I lay some focus fire in on where the enemy archers are because I can see where their arrows are coming from even though I can't see their unit. So we move in and do a bit of that. I try and keep guys in the, these guys in the long grass to hide. Um, but obviously other people can see my arrows as well. And these archers know I'm there and start to come for me. And I'm also trying to control these guys down here, so it's all a bit hectic. Um, trying to move to get out of the way, but they come into range well before me and start to barrage into me. Um, I know that the end is nigh, <laughs> basically. A few friendly cavalry come and have a pop at these archers, and I just basically shoot to get as much damage as I can. Um, maybe I should have ran here, but these Libyan recruits kind of caught up with me. And I was trying to manage these guys here, you see, because I was also being chased off by these tier 4 barbarians. So it was all a bit much, and um, uh, unfortunately, these guys ultimately don't make it. Or don't make it very far before they get cut down anyway. There we go, that's the final hit, and they've routed and dead. And that's obviously Kanane dead, so that means I've lost the ability to barrage, which is a bit of a shame. But we've still got two units left, one of which is at least half health. So we're not completely out of this game yet, and we've caused 4,500 aggression damage. So battle is in our favour at this point. We've slowly been pushing it, troll, trying to push it that way. But we're not quite one yet. There's still quite a few enemy um, tier 4, tier 5 infantry kicking around. Although we do have quite a few units of archers left. We've largely won the archer battle um, in terms of the enemy and killed most of them. Which sort of gives us an advantage because there's not any cavalry left. But there's still a few things we need to kill yet. So, and then unfortunately these poor tier 4s, um, Libyan recruits, felt very sorry for them. Partly because uh, Carthaginians just have such a shocking missile block chance. Um, particularly if they go uh, Scorched Earth takes their missile block chance down to 6. Um, so of course they just don't block any of my arrows at all. They're pretty low body armour values as well. The body armour 108. So they just take basically full damage from the missiles. They activate a Force March I think in a moment. Um, which again does like minus 30% missile block chance. So they just get slaughtered by us unfortunately so, so easily. I did feel a bit mean doing this, particularly against the tier 4 with tier 6 archers. I don't know why the kind of matchmaking puts us in that situation. But, having said that, I still killed them all the same. <laughs> uh, 
Um, they got to such a low point that obviously I think these uh, warriors just finished them off. Um, you know, a shot into the back. I, I basically killed this unit single-handedly, and I'm only with one half health unit and one what, quarter health unit. So, I mean, if I still had three units left, it would have just been a couple of volleys. Three full health units would have been a couple of volleys, and these entire Libyans would be dead. So, um, that is the end of them. But it gave us a nice few aggression points. We're now clear the 5,000 mark, which I was pretty pleased about. And obviously, you can see the range on these archers as well. is pretty pretty immense. Get a few shots in there, these Principes. Obviously, with being in a uh, Testudo, makes it harder. But when they turn their backs to me like this, they're kind of pushing up some more hitting the side. But if you get to the back of an enemy Testudo, being in Testudo when you get shot in the back doesn't really help. You'll still take an awful lot of damage if you start to get shot rearwards um, by archers. So these enemy archers, I think, were trying to run away from me. So instead, I decided to focus on these barbarians because, again, I know because I've played with barbarians quite a lot and I'm quite a fan of them that they should have a shocking missile block chance. Uh, we should do 36. So, again, it makes it easier for me to rack up good amounts of damage um, pretty easily. So that's kind of one of the things about archers is obviously target selection, if you're trying to do well in them anyway. Um, you know, targeting Romans in Testudo is not very effective, unless you can shoot them from the rear, because you're not going to do very much damage against them. I caused a stupid amount of friendly fire there. That was my, definitely a poor player on my part. Um, but if you're shooting Barbarians, um, Faltzmen, um, you know, the, the, the Carthaginian infantry when they're not in shield wall, then you're going to rack up a lot more damage a lot more quickly and be a lot more effective for the team and then really it's just a case of trying to stay alive obviously once now the enemy um cavalry is dead and the enemy archers are, are, are minimal health then i'm i'm really just can run with impunity because i'm pretty much quicker than anything else on the battlefield um and just basically nothing that can kill me unless i make a mistake i think can catch me and obviously by this point the battle is so significantly in our favor it's uh, it's, it's all but finished so it's just a case of mopping up seeing if we can grab a few more points because he's just trying to catch up with these couple of enemy archers down here, which are just trying to run away. But they're just getting cut down by our own archers. I think we go for a volley. I don't think we hit anything, though. Oh, well, we killed one. Killed a man! <laughs> and then I think they run out of range for us again. Yes, they do. So move up to try and catch up with them. But I don't think there's a lot else to show here. We'll just put it on to fast forward to the end. Because they run into the long grass. Um, we lose them, and by the time I catch up with them, the enemy are so close that... Um, I didn't want to shoot him because I'm just going to be causing friendly fire. That's not really of a benefit to anyone. So for some reason, I just randomly meander over to the capture bag over here. <laughs> but no, I, I do enjoy the archers. I just think they could do a big tone down a little bit uh, in the current game setup. But, you know, I understand why people play them. And I'm certainly probably going to be playing these guys a little bit more. Just perhaps feeling a little bit guilty about it on the way. So, yeah, that was that. We got top player. Obviously, you don't really get um, many other points other than aggression points with archers. Because you tend not to really get much in the way of support points. You can get capture points and stuff, obviously, going into the enemy base. But... I just tend not to because they tend not to be that much of a frontline unit. So the bulk of your points tend to come from uh, aggression. So you don't tend to necessarily earn huge amounts of experience. Although, obviously, it's pretty good with the XP changes still. Um, but yes, you don't necessarily earn as much as you would with, say, uh, melee combat units. Because you're not getting uh, support points, defense points, decap points, that sort of thing. Quite the same as you do with other units. So yeah, so I'm going to continue grinding these up. I'm going to get this uh, bow. I'll probably be getting uh, the ornate classical greaves as well because they apply over to my group cavalry, which is obviously the grind we were doing. We'll be continuing with that grind as well. Um, so I might as well get them and I might even get their helmet just because why not? So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, I also wanted to say, if you're still here, that um, PMs. Yeah, if you send me a PM in game, I do get them and I do read them. But it's sometimes quite hard for me to reply. Sometimes because I'm recording a video like this. And by the time I've finished, I've forgotten. Or sometimes I'm just in a battle, and by the time the battle's finished, because I can't actually reply in battle, I have to wait till they come out before um, I can actually send any reply through the global chat. Then I come out, and I've forgotten you, or your message has already disappeared off the end of the list. So it's not that I'm ignoring you, it's just it's not a very convenient um, in-game PM system for me to reply. So often I forget, or get caught up doing something else and don't. So, uh, yes, give the video a like, please. Subscribe to the channel for more Total War content. Thanks, guys, and I shall see you all in the next video.